7 News starts now live with breaking news. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight on 7 News at 7. We begin with continuing coverage of Hurricane Helen, which swept through our area early this morning, bringing devastating rain, high winds, and widespread destruction. Many trees and power lines have been brought down, causing major disruptions. Crews have been working tirelessly to clear roads and restore power. In Greenville County, officers were seen clearing Wade Hampton Boulevard after a large tree had fallen. Over in Spartanburg County, another tree fell on Interstate 26, blocking lanes and causing traffic disruptions. Many roads across the upstate remain difficult to navigate due to fallen trees and debris. In addition to the damage, Hurricane Helen tragically claimed the lives of 19 South Carolinians. Five deaths were reported in Spartanburg County, two in Anderson County, and others in Greenville and Aiken counties. Sadly, two firefighters lost their lives when a tree hit their truck during an emergency response. Emergency crews have been working tirelessly across the upstate and western North Carolina. In Polk County, the rising Green River blocked roads, adding to the challenges faced by rescue teams. A mandatory evacuation was ordered for areas near Lake Lure, where the dam is in imminent danger of failing. Although the winds have calmed down, many areas remain without power, and restoration efforts may take several days. Governor McMaster has urged for patience as crews work to clean up the extensive damage caused by the storm. That's all for now, stay safe, and we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. Thank you for watching 7 News at 7.